our super contest picks for week number nine. Last week, I went three and two. I am 22 and 18 overall on the season. Chris, man, one and four last week. Kind of kind of felt like I did the week before. 19 and 19 and two overall on the season. So uh, overall, not not bad. We hadn't been bad this season, but we're, we're rounding into form. We're getting into shape. Uh, I will start us off. I'm going to take the Browns plus three at the Bengals for my first pick. Uh, we already talked about it. But I just feel like these two teams are too close. I'm going to take the team with the head start. I think the Browns probably should have been favored here. If you look at the numbers, and even on the road, I feel like they should have been favored. Uh, maybe the Bengals are falling off a little bit. Like that hot start, you knew it was going to come back to earth eventually at some point. Division game, I'll take the Browns here. Yeah, all right. I'm going to start off with the Packers as a pick I think this Chiefs team is dead. I have been betting against them all year. I think they've covered one line. And that's it. So I'm going to continue to ride this hot streak. They're going to have to make me lose a lot for me to to, to, to fall in the hole. I can I can understand that. Uh, game number two for me: Broncos plus ten at the Cowboys. I don't think the Von Miller thing hurts that much at all. And I I think that the Cowboys with Cooper Rush first game out, maybe it is something that defenses have not seen. You know, they're playing it a little bit differently than the way that you game plan for them. So, yeah, maybe you can shock the Vikings that way. I I think 10 points is just too much for a team that I don't expect to be super explosive in the Cowboys. So I'm going to take the Broncos plus the 10 because I don't see either team winning this by double digits. Yeah, I I, I, I don't like this late of games. I, I can understand that. <laughs> <laughs> give me the Texans. Give me the Texans plus six and a half. I, I, I think this Dolphins team is not very good. I think we should get a Watson trade out of this. Okay, this is what I really believe should happen. I believe that both these two teams should come to terms for the most part. And and if the Texans want an extra first and the Titans want that to be a third, I think the winner gets what they want. I think we should have to put something on the line here. But when this game is over with, Watson walks his ass to the other side of the field. There you go. And so Texans plus six and a half at the Dolphins. I like <laughs> you betting on the Texans. I think you'll love this one then. Uh, game number three for me, the Bills at the Jaguars. Give me the Jags plus 14 and a half. I don't think the Jags are a good football team. However, they have been at least somewhat competent. And and I think, or at least lately they have been. I, I think they're just going to be able to keep this game a little bit closer against the Bills. I haven't been impressed with the Bills in a couple of weeks now. They I, I think the Dolphins kind of didn't give them the game, but it's not like the Bills were playing well enough to win that one by two touchdowns last week, and yet they did. So I, I will take the Jags plus 14.5 at home against Buffalo. Yeah, let me. I'm going to take the Bears plus 6.5 against the Steelers. We talked about that one already. I, I, I just think that they're... I think they, they might be the better football team here. Okay, I can get down with that. Uh, I'm going opposite you on game number four here from one of your earlier uh, predictions. Falcons plus six at the Saints. I Whether it's Taysom Hill or Trevor Simeon, whoever, I think this offense slows down. I do think the Saints defense is really, really good. But I, 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 this might be a little bit of bias. I like Arthur Smith. I think he's going to be able to figure out a way to put up points here. I think, uh, I think this team is, they're not good. But I do think that they will be able to keep this game close, especially division game here. Uh, I like the Falcons to keep it within six at the Saints. I am going to take the Ravens minus five and a half against the Vikings. I, I think this Ravens team coming off a bye is usually pretty good. I think this Vikings team just keeps finding ways to lose games. I could, uh, I could see that. I could see that. Uh, game number five for me, I'm rolling Patriots minus four at the Panthers. Uh, the Panthers are on the decline. Even with a, a close win against the Falcons last week, uh, I still don't think this is a very good football team. And I think the Patriots are really, I, I don't know how many times I can say it in one show, rounding into form. This looks like a really, really good football team. And I think that they are going to win this by, by much more than four points. I, I think they could win this by double digits here. All right. Well, uh, let's take, I'm going to take the Chargers. So, let me tell you about the Chargers. Okay. Justin Herbert last week was the worst-rated quarterback in, in the NFL. Justin Herbert over the last three weeks is the worst-rated quarterback in the NFL. That can't be sustainable, right? We have enough of a sample size to know that's not who he is, correct? I I would think so. I um, just think the Chargers team can't keep being as bad. 
I also don't think there's any world on earth where this Eagles team is that that good. I could I could see that. I could totally like I, I see where you're coming from with this. So the Chargers minus one and a half on the road at the Eagles. Okay, I can get down with that. All right, a quick recap here. I am taking the Browns plus three, Broncos plus ten, Jags plus fourteen and a half, Falcons plus six, and the Patriots minus four. And Chris, you have got the Packers in a pick 'em against the Chiefs. You got the Texans plus six and a half, Bears plus six and a half, Ravens minus five and a half, and Chargers minus one and a half. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. All right. Anything else uh, you want to say before I let you go and close out the show? That's it, brother. See you, man. Be good, brother. All right. Another fantastic show wrapping up. Good to have Chris in, of course. Always enjoy our conversations and, uh, and always enjoy chatting with you guys. We appreciate you for being here. If you are watching the show, make sure and like the video. Uh, if you are listening to the podcast, make sure you are subscribed and leave a nice five-star review for us over on Apple Podcast. That certainly helps us out as far as algorithms and all that kind of stuff. We are so close. Last I checked, we were 218 subscribers away from hitting our mark for the entire season. So make sure and subscribe on the YouTube page. Uh, you can find it over at winningcureseverything.com. And make sure and follow us on Twitter. Uh, myself, I'm at Gary WCE. Chris is at Chris B. Giannini. So go ahead and knock that out for us also. The show brought to you by BetUS, America's premier sportsbook, online sportsbook. Go and check them out. BetUS.com. Use the promo code NCAAF2021, and you will get 125% deposit bonus up to $2,500. It is sportsbook exclusive. That means it ain't going towards a casino or any of that kind of crap. It is going specifically to gamble on sports. And there are so many things going on right now. I mean, a World Series, all kind of stuff like this. There's a bunch happening. So make sure and lock in on that deal before it goes away. So bet US where the game begins. You guys have been fantastic. We're going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. Hopefully, you'll be back with us on Friday to go over the college football slate along with whatever else might happen uh, with the Texas monkey scandal. TCU, who knows what job is going to open between now and Friday. Who knows? Lots to dig into in this crazy, crazy football world. With that said, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And hopefully... Hopefully, all of your tickets cash this week. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.